Hi, boys and girls. This week in writing, we're going to work on writing incomplete sentences. I just want to review for a minute what it means to have a complete sentence. There are several things you need. The first one is that you need a capital letter to begin your sentence. I'm noticing that kids are forgetting this a lot, especially when it is the word I. I is always capitalized, no matter where it is in the sentence. You also need punctuation to end your sentence, a period, question mark, or exclamation point. Now my sentence says, I enjoy going to the beach. Sentences also need two parts. They need a subject, who or what the sentence is about, and a predicate, what is the action in it. So who or what is this subject about? It's about me. I said, I. What about me? What do I, what am I saying about myself? I enjoy going to the beach. So is that a complete sentence? Yes. What you're going to do today in your seesaw is you are going to be completing two activities to practice complete sentences. The first activity says complete sentences. Type five complete sentences. Make sure they include capital letters, punctuation, subject, and predicate. So you'll add your response, and then you will type your five sentences. I left an example sentence up here. The kitten was playing with the yarn. So you'll go in to number one, and you'll start your sentence. So if I was going to type, I enjoy going to the beach, and I want to make sure I put my period at the end. Then I would write four more sentences. They can be about anything that you want today. When you're done, you'll hit the green check mark. Now your second job is also sentence writing, but we are going to be working on answering questions using a complete sentence. So it says answer each question with a complete sentence using words from the question. Example, what is the cutest animal? The cutest animal is a baby kitten. Now that's my opinion, not necessarily a fact. So you're going to add a response and answer some animal questions. If you look on the side, there are three pages to it, so there are five total questions. What is your favorite animal? So you can add a text box, change the color if you want to. And I'm going to use words from the question to start my answer. So it says, what is your favorite animal? I'm going to say my favorite animal is... an elephant. Then I can stretch that out a little bit and put it in for the answer. Now, did I have a capital letter? Yes. Did I have punctuation? Yes. So now I can go to the next one. What is the most dangerous animal? Again, I would start my answer using words for the question. The most dangerous animal is, and then I would put what I think. So I would do the same thing for all five questions. When you're done, you'll click the green check mark and you will be done. And that is what you need to do for writing for today. Have fun.